Hey guys, it's Taku. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. Today's video is going to be pretty relaxed. There's not really a main topic to talk about. There's no book to review. There's no album to really sit here and unpack thoroughly. We're actually just going to sit here and go through some of the packages that have been piling up and I just haven't opened because I've been really busy with um, work and school and studies and between that and then trying to film, edit, and then write stuff for the blog, <laughs> there's just a lot at the moment and it means that I haven't been able to properly kind of give myself time to prepare for like what is in some of these packages and enjoy them fully so what we're gonna do is basically just sit down and chat and we're gonna open my mail and as you can see there's kind of a lot that's piled up so hopefully this video isn't too long but if it is strap in for a good time let's get comfy let's relax I've got a drink with me on hand and let's open some stuff I do want to preface real quick though that this is not to like flaunt or to show off things that I have. I mean, it's this isn't anything to be showy about. I just really wanted to sit down and film something that wasn't, you know, going to cause me a lot of stress. I think unboxing videos are very comforting to watch. I think they're very relieving, kind of therapeutic. They're my favorite kind of videos to watch. I love filming them as you can see on my channel. So I thought, you know, why not just kind of combine a bunch of packages that I have. And if some of you guys like it, I can definitely do this again in the future. But yeah, we're gonna start with one that I've already opened. So if you've been on my Instagram, which you should totally be following, this is the RJ um, Alpaca Plush. Um, this is the big box that he came in. There's this big sleeve if you take this off and he sits right in here. I'll show him to you guys in just a second. But I did pre-order this from Hot Topic uh, like a month or two ago. I can't even remember. He should still be in stock though. Although I know they are also doing a batch of the really, really big RJs. So, um, you'll probably still be able to catch one, but here he is. Here he is. I'm so, so I have no words, honestly. Like this is, well, one, this is how far I've sunk, but two is that he's just, he really is the softest. I was surprised with how firm the plush actually was. Um, it's hard to tell, but it is really kind of like that harder, like teddy bear which means like he's not gonna fall apart easily which is amazing and great so yeah really happy to have the new member of the family hopefully I'll feature him in more videos as he's just sitting in the background chilling around but for now let me see if I can move some stuff we're gonna start with another one this came from k-pop town this was part of that really big order you guys may remember I was gonna do an individual video on this but I decided just to go ahead and open it now with all the rest of my mail but this is the notes too it is the most beautiful moment in life and this is part of the BTS universe and uh, yeah let me go ahead and get this plastic off so I realized when opening this like half the fun is kind of just asking you know how are you guys doing um, I've been doing really well uh, again like school has been pretty crazy but it's you know it, we will get through it we'll get through it so here is the book and it is just like the other one and it's got a sleeve that goes over it. it's very nice and very pretty and again I'm not gonna treat this like a whole unboxing I'm just gonna kind of take it off and show it to you but it came with the book which is significantly thicker than the first one it has me wondering if this is um, a huge block in the story that they've been waiting to write for a long time but it came with this and it did came with the um, pre-order bonus or not a pre-order bonus but a shop bonus it is just a um, like an, uh, the notes but a notebook so you can just write whatever you want in it I thought that was nice since the cover is so pretty um, it's so pretty I probably won't write anything in it but it's nice to have all right another really cool thing about doing this type of video so this is gonna be packages from all my different hobbies the only one that I don't have here is Tokyo Talking Mode from some of my figures I love collecting Nendroids um, I should probably do a video on my Nendroid collection but anyway this one's from right stuff and I'm trying to cover up shipping labels and stuff this should only be one volume of manga I think um, it's weird that they shipped it in such a big box but let me get this opened I know right stuff was going through uh, it had like a power outage or like power failure and then on top of COVID everything's just being backed up right now so in the box we've got some freebie type things I'll probably look through these a little bit more later here's an advertisement for be the beginning but yeah let me go ahead and get the book out so here's the box empty yeah this just feels like the one book so um, let's see if I am right Oh, oh. Gotta love right stuff. It's all this paper for one tiny little book. 
<laughs> no, I'm joking though. I love shopping from Right Stuff, guys. I buy most of my stuff from Right Stuff. I use Right Stuff far more than um, Amazon or um, any other book website, I guess, to buy my books. But this is the delectable cover with Obi on it, and it is Volume Eight of Snow White: The Red Hair. Really happy to have this. I'm behind a little bit on reading my Snow White, but now I have a lot more to read when I can sit down and enjoy the story. Okay, this next big box is gonna take me a little bit of time to open. This one is from Import CDs, if I remember correctly. I've never bought from Import CDs, but it was the place that had um, the new, or the reprint of the BTS um, School Love Affair Special Edition. So I went ahead and picked that up, but I'm trying to show it to you guys so that it's more of like an unboxing haul. So in the box, they've got their stuff packaged really well. Um, there's all these um, air things, and I was wondering because if like the box was really light, but it was really big. Oh my god, guys, I did not, okay, so I slipped a little bit, and I am now down the K-pop hole real bad. I am exploring all different groups, it's amazing, and I hope I can kind of document more of this on YouTube, but I picked up Bacon's album. I did not think it'd be this big. Guys, this is like a book, like this is like an art book, like a magazine, like look how big this is. Um, In comparison, here's the other album that I got, and I'll talk a little bit more about this, but oh my god, guys. This is huge. Uh, this is Bacon's Delight album. Um, this is his second mini album. Every song in this is such a vibe. I love this soundtrack so much and I decided to pick it up. So I'll do a video on this later. But I also decided to pick up Super Junior's seventh album, which was Mamacita. And this was actually the first K-pop album, like full album that I ever listened to. So um, you can stamp the date. I think it was 2014 because um, I listened to it when it came out. and. Um, since then, I've been a casual lover of K-pop, and then more recently with BTS, I've been really into K-pop. But yeah, really happy to have, finally, after all these years, the actual album that kind of started this all, really. So definitely look out for an exciting boxing of this later. And that moves that out of the way. This last little box here is actually, I think, the most expensive purchase that I made. Um, this is from the Weaver shop, and anyone who knows this logo knows that you just spent a butt ton of money, <laughs> um, either on shipping or the good itself. But uh, Weaver's really does package their stuff really well. If you're buying from Weaver's, you're probably buying BTS or Tomorrow Buy Together stuff, but they do have other labels and groups hooked up through this uh, website. But yeah, I did go ahead and buy my first concert DVD, which I'll show you guys here in a second. Just the other day, I went ahead and put one of my videos up on my blog, which is the first time I updated my blog in, in such a long time. I didn't realize a whole month had flown by pretty much all of September and I felt bad I felt so bad because uh, when I started YouTube that was one thing that I wanted to make sure was that I did not um, put off blogging that blogging would always come first before YouTube and I wanted to make sure also that my YouTube kind of got off the ground before I you know like put it on hiatus or put it on a break because yeah school is really busy it's hard enough as is to find time to make videos that's why most of my videos have been unboxing videos lately they're just really easy to film and really easy easy to edit compared to other types of videos, but um, I'm definitely going to hop back into blogging more. So if stuff here slows down, definitely follow me on my blog. The link to my blog is always in my description, um, but I'll try to update it more. But as you can see here, oh my God, I'm so excited for this. This is the BTS World Tour. Um, this is Love Yourself, Speak Yourself, and this is in Wembley. This is the famed Wembley concert that every BTS fan knows about. So much of this is not only iconic to them and to ARMY, but I think it also is a huge leap forward for the group. It's a very emotional concert. The ending is, I believe this is the one where they're all basically crying by the end. I'm looking now, in front of me is actually the fifth muster, which I still need to watch. But I love the packaging on all this stuff it's bts is such an aesthetic honestly a lot of k-pop stuff is such an aesthetic maybe that's why i'm attracted to buying it um especially after collecting stuff for so many years but yes guys this was the last thing in this haul um so as i put this over here with my other albums and books and stuff i can talk for just a second i do have um a tokyo otaku mode order this is from oh god months ago i ordered this um but it's two uh sword art online art books i do love sword art online but there's also uh, uh, two Evangelion Nendroids, and I mean, 
Ava, kind of like my favorite anime, and then Nendoroid, my favorite type of figure. So I'm debating if I should do a Tokyo Otaku Mode haul. Would you guys be interested in that? If you want to see it, I will probably try to film it, but you can also leave a comment down below. If you would like more sit-down unboxings like this, guys, I had such a blast um, opening my mail with you. Uh, again, like I don't normally have this much stuff waiting for me at the front door. It really has been accumulating over the past like two and a half, almost three weeks. And I finally decided I'm gonna sit down and film this video today and so that I can enjoy all the stuff that I have. And then going forward, yeah, I think it'd be fun to do more sit down vlogs. Um, it's a nice way to update each other on what we're doing without just me sitting in front of the camera. I mean, it gives you guys something interesting to look at and I also kind of get to open something. So I'm not sitting here just mindlessly rambling. But guys, at the time of recording this, I'm gonna try to get this up as soon as possible, but it is Friday, October 2nd. That means Blackpink's album is officially out. Go stream uh, the album by Blackpink. I did pre-order a copy of the album and mine is signed um, but it's just a regular CD so I didn't know if it was worth doing a whole unboxing video for it or if I should just you know quickly come on and throw it in my mail videos but I definitely do want to talk about Blackpink's album it is so amazing I just got done listening to all of it and you guys you're in for a ride if you haven't listened to it it's so good every song's a hit so yeah go stream Love Sick Girls but guys I think that's gonna do it for me today thank you so much for watching this video for more of me you can find me on Twitter at Takuto Anime Cafe I also run a blog of the the same name which I will leave linked right here or in the description below and you can also follow me on Instagram at Takuto AC if you feel so inclined it always seems like I'm coming from the past to deliver something it's always something that's late or something that I got months ago or filmed you know weeks ago that is finally getting updated so I'll try to be more on top of it but guys I hope you're all doing well I hope that if you are in school or yeah if you're doing online or if you're doing in campus that you guys are staying safe and that school's not too hard for you and if you are just working a job I hope that is going swimmingly because COVID is still you know kind of a pain in the butt to deal with but I know we will get through it we'll get through it together so thank you for sitting down with me and opening my mail and till next time